Breaking news. U.S. officials now believe, believe Tashfeen Malik, the female shooter who murdered 14 people in San Bernardino, may have been inspired by ISIS. Moments ago, though, an attorney for her husband's family, the male shooter's family, said they warned against calling the attack an act of terror. When a Christian goes to shoot up a Planned Parenthood, or an extreme uh, Catholic goes and bombs, bombs an abortion clinic, all the headlines don't say extremist, radical, Christian, Catholic, Christian, Catholic, Christian, Catholic. Just like right now, every headline is saying Muslim and attaching Muslim to it. I just think there's a, there's a tendency to take a cookie cutter version or a paradigm of a terrorist type event and superimpose it on a situation just because that person is of Muslim belief or Muslim tradition. And I don't think we should jump to too many conclusions. Out front tonight, former New York City Police Commissioner Bernie Carrick and Harris Zafar, National Spokesperson for Ahmadiyya Muslim Community USA. So let me start with you, Harris. Uh, some people have been saying this is the worst terror attack uh, since 9-11 in the United States. What do you say? Uh, well, to be honest, Aaron, you know, the facts uh, show to us that we, won't, we don't contest that label. It does look like that the nature of the crime is terrorism, not due to the fact that it's a Muslim, uh, but due to the fact of what the nature of the crime is. So this uh, new town, what happened to Planned Parenthood, what the, what the Buddhist monks are doing in Myanmar, we consider all that terrorism. But I believe the greater point here is not the semantics and labels, because the American people are more worried about how to stop it than what to right. call let me, it. Let me, which just, is let, me why, just, let me just interrupt, though, because when you say that, that you would count Newtown as terror, more people died in Newtown than died in San Bernardino. So, so you would be taking issue with this being the worst terror attack since 9-11 in the U.S. You're saying um, they're all terror, well, but that uh, label would be unfair in your view? Uh, I, I, I do believe that, uh, I mean, to compare the innocent lives is probably not uh, very uh, valuable. It's mm -hmm. really about, uh, yeah, they, these are all acts of terror that are happening in our country. Uh, and so we should talk about not just the labels, but the solutions. How do we stop groups like Daesh? How do we stop radicalization? How do we stop these mass shootings that are crippling our nation? Um, and our, uh, our point of view is that leadership matters. Look at the leaders who are guiding these people in a certain direction, especially these, uh, these disturbed people, uh, and which is why we would say look at case studies, like, as an example, the Khalifa of Islam, uh, His Holiness, who is the spiritual leader of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, who spends a lot of time playing an active role in the lives of tens of millions of Muslims in 207 countries around the world on how to embody peace and love as mm -hmm. opposed to brutality and injustice. And so there's something to be said there. Bernie, th it, is, it is, though, when people say worse since 9-11, uh, th th there is an immediate fear uh, that a lot of people uh, feel uh, when they hear uh, this, this is an act of, of Islamic extremism, Islamic terror. But if Newtown uh, is, is an act of terror, and it did, of course, inspire terror in its community and around this nation, uh, more people tragically died, then this wouldn't be the worst since 9-11. Is this nation too quick to just use the word terror only when it applies to Muslim acts? No, I, I don't think so. I, I, I sort of have to agree with Harris. Uh, you know, each one of these events uh, can be related to terrorism in some way. The, the threat um, of violence, uh, you know, the, the threat, uh, the intimidation. Um, the reality is in this, mm -hmm. the principal focus is this radical extremism. And, uh, and I, think, I think this is just the beginning. You know, I, I listened to your, your prior segment, and, and I have to say, you know, these guys got under the radar. You're going to see a lot more of this. The Al-Qaeda training manuals, mm -hmm. they tell these people, they teach these people how to get under the radar, what kind of, uh, what kind of communications to use, how to stay off social media, shave their beards, do all this stuff. Right. I but think Bernie, you're going to see have, more of this in the future. Do you have too much of a focus? I mean, all of these things are horrible and need to be focused on and stopped. But, you know, some people say, look at the number of gun deaths in America at the hands of, of white people uh, who are mentally ill. And that number uh, dwarfs in recent years the number of people killed by uh, Islamic extremists. They say, why, why are we so focused on, on the issue of Islamic terror, that it's, it's only when that word Islam is, is attached to it that people focus on it? Well, I think the principal focus right now is these attacks have increased since September 11th, mm. whether it's in Paris, whether it's here. Um, and, and what Harris said is, is most important. How do we stop the radicalization? Mm -hmm. How do we prevent these attacks from happening? Where's the next attack going to happen? And how do we identify those that are in the country already? And the FBI is already monitoring, according to James Comey, uh, more than 900 people. Um, you know, that's a major, major concern. All right. Thank you both and very to, much.